My name is Lizzie, and I am going to show you some steps to filtering this dirty water. Now, first I did aerantation. That's when you mix some air and water together. What I did was I put it in a bottle and then I shook it up. Then the next step is coagulation, to thicken. I put in the alum. Alum is a kind of seasoning. I put it in and then it tracks the water and makes it thick. Then you leave it for about 20 minutes, checking it every five or so minutes to watch the particles at the bottom. Then I have sedimentation, which is what I just explained. Now I'm going to do filterantation. Lizzie, I have a question. Yeah? Um, what does the alum actually do when you mix it into the water? What does the alum do? It thickens it. It thickens what? I read um, earlier that it creates some kind of particles. Do you remember? Do you remember what we read about with the particles that it creates when you mix it in with the water? It creates particles called flock. Right. Okay, that's right. And then, what does the flock do? It attracts the water. I'm sorry. It doesn't attract the water. It. Um, what does it attract? What are the two things in the water? What are the things in the water? The dirt and the water. The dirt and the air. The dirt and the water. So what do you think it would attract? Would it attract the water? No. What's the other thing in there? Dirt. So it attracts the dirt. And then it, and then what does it do? It makes it really thick and bumpy. And it makes it really folly. Heavy. 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 Yeah. Heavy. Yeah, and then the particles fell to the bottom. See? See, can you aim the camera down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See see these little particles at the bottom? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So, so the flock makes all that dirt heavy. Yeah. And then it goes to the bottom, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Now what's all that dirt on the top? Oh, it's just dirt without flock. How are we gonna get rid of that? You'll see. <laughs> that is our next step, which is um, filtration. I'm going to filter the water. Now you see, there's two kinds of gravel, two kinds of sand, and here's some activated charcoal, and then a cotton ball at the bottom. Watch this. I'm just going to pour in this. About one third. No, two thirds, sweetie. Two thirds. Sorry, two thirds. That, no, they want you to pour in almost all of it, except for what's at the bottom. But then it'll flow. Oh, true. So we need to wait, huh? Yeah, that's what I was doing. Now, so what did we do to the filter before you, before you did this? Yeah, before I put in some clean water. Not this water, but clean water. And then I just poured it in. And what does that do? That cleans out all the disgusting parts. Like maybe some dirt that was on the rocks. Yeah, yeah. Or or the or the um, if there's some yucky on the uh, activated charcoal. Yeah. Maybe even. So what's happening there? What what's happening to all that dirt that was on the top of the um of your dirty water? What's it doing? Yeah. What it's doing here is it's staying at the top, but then it can't go through the rocks, or this gravel, or this, or this, or this. Why doesn't it go through there? Because it's not heavy enough, I guess you could say. I think it's because it's too big. Yeah, it is because it's too big, yes. But you see, all the water is being drained and then filtered down to the bottom. So all the big disgusting dirt stays at the top, huh? You want me to show you the bottom there? Yes. Oh, Look okay. at the bottom here. You see? See that clear, beautiful water? Nice. It's just like the water that we get out of our tap. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I want to demonstrate. Okay. Now, I'm going to pour in a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 
Now. So what do we do now? What what might be left in that water at the bottom? Like yucky stuff? What? Well, like germs from the dirt. Germs, yeah. Yeah, germs. So how do well, we get rid of that? I'll show you. Yeah, now you can take that off and put it... Do we have a little cup or something you can put it on top of? How about a, a smaller cup? I know, I can put it in here. Okay. Now, I'm just going to remove this item here. And then you see that tall filter thing? I'm going to move it all the way up to here. Okay. So that more water can drizzle down. Okay, that looks good. That'll, that'll drip pretty well in that thing. Yeah. Uh-oh, uh -oh. we jostled it. Uh-oh. Look but, at that. Boom. Jostling, it ruins it, we just discovered. Yes. So never do that. Wow, that's interesting, huh? Yeah. We just is. discovered that jostling the filter is bad. Makes it's, a bunch of dirt go through. So never jostle your filter. It doesn't matter now. This is going to be contaminated. I know, I know. It's okay. Okay, so finally we have some clean water. What shall we do now? Now we're going to disinfectation it. Okay. By pouring this. We actually say disinfect it. Disinfect it. But the process is called. Disinfectation. Yeah. That's when you disinfect it, which is in the name. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of cool. Chlorine bleach. bleach. Uh, show it. Show it your camera again. See that chlorine bleach? Mm-hmm. No. It takes out the color of the water, and it disinfects it. Can we see what's happening? Uh, no. Why not? Because it's clear. Why can't we see what's happening? Because there's nothing to see. Now, if there's nothing to see, that means there's nothing happening. Why can't we see what's happening? Our eyes aren't strong enough. That's right. What's happening in there? Um, it's being disinfected. Little germs and stuff are leaving. Yeah. In other words. <laughs> okay, so do you want to sign off? Um, just take one more long look at this. Yes. And look at the bottom here. Is it coming out clean again, or yeah. is it still dirty? It's coming out clean again. See? Look at all that. So we have to be careful when we have a filter that we don't jostle it, huh? Yes. Okay, so you want to sign off now? Do you want to say goodbye? Uh, yeah. Um, this is Lizzie Bascom here, signing off of uh, science projects to the extreme. <laughs> Bye.